Good afternoon, visitors. If you're looking for more vessel traffic, uh, be glad that you are not in traffic right now because the uh, Duluth Area Lift Bridge looks like it is staying up for the departure of the John G. Munson. Uh, we should see the Munson through here in the next 10 to 15 minutes, but uh, for now, it looks like we have a twofer on our hands. Good afternoon, visitors. Currently departing through the Duluth Ship Canal, we have the John G. Munson. The John G. Munson was built in 1952 by the Manitowoc Shipbuilding Company of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. She measures 768 feet in length, 72 feet in width, and 36 feet in depth. She is powered by a single 8,000 horsepower, six-cylinder, 6M43 MAC diesel engine, which gives her a top speed of 14 knots, or about 16 miles per hour. She is also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The Munson has 22 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 48 by 17 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 25,600 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 5,600 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The John G. Munson is owned by the Duluth-based Great Lakes Fleet, a subsidiary of Canadian National Railway, and operated by Key Lakes Incorporated, also of Duluth. If you see men, any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big old wave and wish them a, a happy 4th of July. The Munson is departing the Twin Forks today with a load of iron ore pellets that she loaded at the Canadian National Docks in West Duluth. She came in yesterday with a load of limestone. Big old wave and wish uh, the crew of the John G. Munson a very happy 4th of July. 